love this oil. It is a multi-functioning oil. It is awesome. And this is... Hi guys! In today's video, we are going to be discussing different oils that help stimulate hair regrowth. I am a New York State licensed esthetician that now has a fresh pair of bald lids because yes, I relapsed the other night. I'm extremely frustrated about it, but it's okay. It's all good. Castor oil is very popular. It's very common. This one I use almost every night on my eyelashes and it's really going to help to stimulate hair regrowth but you want to make sure that you massage it into your eyelids or on top of your head or wherever you're using it for that stimulation for the hair growth to take place. If you have a hard time using your fingertips because we have sensory tips on the end of our fingers and sometimes that can be triggers for you to pull your hair out, I would suggest putting a rag over your fingers and then massaging it in or what I do is I use the back of my knuckles and you can massage them like that too um, or, or on your eyebrows or wherever it is on your face that you need to massage it in. It's extremely important whenever you apply an oil to the area where you want to regrow your hair to massage it and to do it for at least five to ten minutes. It doesn't have to be consistent but to do it at least for that time period and the reason is because anytime that you massage it's going to have the blood go to that area so in order for hair to regrow it's really important that it has good blood flow and that is one key factor that helps determine if the hair is going to regrow or not so that definitely gives it a little boost so make sure that you do that now if you're doing it on your head you can literally just take your hands and you can massage you can just massage your um your scalp but if you have a hard time because of your fingertips and you don't want to trigger yourself depending on how sensitive your condition is you can put a rag over your hand you can put gloves over your hand they have like latex gloves they have latex free gloves that you can use okay guys this next oil i love this oil it is a multi-functioning oil it is awesome and this is like so excited I'm like throwing chunks everywhere okay um this is rose hip oil so this is rose hip oil but this one is all you need this has a really good amount in it for the price I will put the price right here and this brand guys is so good so they send me oils and different stuff to use and on one of the cards it talked about like the packaging and they're just like very eco-friendly they're fair trade they are just amazing and they're very fair priced and they list every single ingredient on the box so go check out good molecules this is the oil so what you want to do is you open it You can put it on your fingertips or on your knuckles. You put it on the back of your knuckles and you can just go like this. And this next one is carrot oil. Carrot oil is very good. I will list some of the benefits of it right here. A, vitamin A is in carrot seed oil and it is gonna be in the next oil that I'm gonna tell you about, so stay tuned. The B vitamins are extremely important, specifically biotin. All of the B vitamins will help with this. You could just get a multivitamin with the B vitamins in it. Vitamin C is important, but it's important to take vitamin C in the form of ester. Ester is the most absorbable form of vitamin C, and it will help create collagen, which is very, very important as it is part of the hair structure. Vitamin D is next. If you live anywhere upstate like I do in New York, we are all deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D, vitamin D also helps create new hair follicles, which is an essential part of growing your hair back if you have trichotillomania or dermatillomania, okay?
my favorites is zinc. Zinc, zinc, zinc. Zinc helps with skin, hair, and nail health. Zinc is so important. The most absorbable form of zinc is actually called zinc orotate, okay? And I recommend for hair health and skin health that you take 20 milligrams to 50 milligrams a day. Protein. Protein is another good one. If you don't have enough protein, your hair will have a hard time structurizing and growing back.